setting your preferences in Flash FXP. You can pause this video at any time by clicking on the square stop button at the bottom left. This tutorial assumes you already have Flash FXP and have it running on your computer, but not connected to another server. Now let's learn how to set preferences in Flash FXP. Click Options at the top of the Flash FXP window. Then select Preferences. This is the main Preferences window where there are several options to choose from. Keep in mind though that most of these options are preset by Flash FXP and do not need to be changed. Therefore, only change those options which you know are safe to change, and we'll show you some of those now. If you wish, you can change the timeout, retry delay, and retry count settings here. Click the Connection tab. Unless you really know what you're doing, there isn't anything you should change here. Click the Options tab. These settings are in place to help you avoid deleting files by accident and should be left in the default settings. Click the Transfer tab. For the most part, the transfer mode should be left as Auto unless you've been given specific instructions to transfer files in either ASCII or binary modes. Select the Advanced tab. You'll typically want to have Show Hidden Files selected so that you can see all files including .ht access files. Select the Sounds tab. With Flash FXP, you have the ability to assign sound effects to specific events. To do so, simply select the event you want to assign a sound to. Then locate a sound file on your computer. That's it. Select the Display tab. There are several display options you can choose that will customize the look and feel of Flash FXP to your liking. Click here. You can choose how to display file sizes as well. When finished, click OK. Select the View menu item. Then Options. Finally, you can change the entire look of your Flash FXP by modifying the colors. Click OK. This is the end of the tutorial. You now know how to set your preferences in Flash FXP and how to customize its look to suit you. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Be sure to let us know if you have any questions.